What is up everybody and welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we are answering the question of how to insert data into an SQLite database in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. So like I mentioned, we are inserting data into an SQLite database today. And if you aren't familiar with SQL commands, that is one thing that is going to be highly needed um, for this tutorial. And so I recommend that if you aren't familiar with how to do SQL commands like insert, delete or anything like that, you should run over and jump on the website SQLite tutorial net. This provides great information like um, different SQLite commands that you can do. And here, look, they even have one, uh, a command on how you actually insert data or data into um, a table that's given specific information. So to start out with us, I just kind of want to show we are using a table that is basically an employee table. It's got a first name, a last name, age, sex, and income. And we already have one record in here, which if you've seen my previous tutorial on how to connect, we showed you how to connect to a database and kind of display all the information that was there. Um, and so in this video, we are going to show you how you can add more um, rows or more employees in this case to this um, to this database. So the basic setup is, is um, you have to connect to a database, which if you haven't, again, if you haven't seen my last video, go check that out. But this is essentially how you can do it. Um, if you wanna know more about some tricks and some other caveats, you can check out that other video. Um, but we have this employee and we have this employee named Jim Smith. He's 45, he's a male. And and this is his salary. I mean, wouldn't that be nice, right? Um, and we are gonna show you, or I'm gonna actually show you the code that you would write right here to insert this employee into the database. So let's hop right in and start talking about how to do that. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is create our SQL command. And again, I recommend that if you haven't, you can go check out sqlitetutorial.net. Um, and essentially, like I mentioned, they show you these commands, the SQL, the SQL commands that you need to run. So like I mentioned, we're using this insert into. So to create the SQL command, essentially we're gonna do, I'm gonna say SQL is equal to, and I'm gonna give it a triple quote, but it's essentially gonna be insert, insert into. Now we need to insert into, and we need to give it the table name. Now the table name that we're essentially using um, is, and I actually have this handy dandy uh, VS Code extension um, that allow, allows you to view it, and the name of it is employee. And so, because those this is our database, again right here, and then I can click on that, and I can say open database, like I did down here, it opens this SQLite Explorer, and we see that inside of this database, there is the tables of employee, and then these are the columns that are there. So essentially, we need to say insert into employee, and then we needed to pass the name of the columns. So for instance, we're gonna say first name, and then last name, and then age, and then sex, and then um, income. So that's kind of the first part, like you saw here. So insert to, and then you give it the artist or the table name and then the values or the, the column name, excuse me, and then the value. So in our case, we're gonna say um, values. And then in Python, what's nice um, for this is all you need to do is pass in question marks. So I know it's kind of weird, but question mark. And so you just need to match in the number of question marks of what you're actually entering. So if we're entering everything um, of everything of all the employee in, we would say, hey, we gave it all, you know, all the columns and then we'd say there's one, two, three, four, five columns. So then we're gonna say question mark like that. And then we need to close it out. And so that is our S, essentially right there, that is our SQL command that we're gonna do. So now how do we use this SQL command to inject the this employee information into these values so that it actually executes the SQL command and then we can commit that to our database or into our database. And so that's what we're gonna talk about now. Okay, so to actually insert or use this command that we talked about, essentially what you need to do is you need to get the cursor of the database. Um, and so I already had that set up in our connection. I created a connection, I grabbed the cursor. And so what you need to do is say db.cursor now and we need to execute essentially this SQL command. And so when we call the execute command, you'll notice here as my um, VS code, the IntelliSense pops up and shows that this X SQL command, this or this, excuse me, the function execute, the cursor, it takes in an S basically an SQL object string and it takes some parameters. Um, and so the parameters that we're gonna pass in is this basic tuple essentially of our employee. So if I say execute and then I pass in the SQL command and then I give it the employee right there, that is essentially going to to execute the command. Um, and then from there, you'll need to commit it. And then when you, if you're like, and then you could do other stuff, but essentially in our case, we're done. We, in this case, we just want to insert data into the database um, and then close out. 
And so to run this, essentially, I can come down here and I can say um, Python, how to insert data into that. And if I run this and everything works out great, this should work, you know, there should be no errors. It should just exit essentially. And look, just like that, well, if I go check this, this has not been updated and so it looks the same. So I just go over here and I say, hey, run this basically this like query to see what's in there. And now you see we have inserted Jim Smith, age 45 male into with this large income into our database. Now we can go back over here and we can say, we can change employee to Jan or Jane, let's do Jane. Smith and let's say she's 28 female and she makes a lot of money or something like that if we run this and we go back over here and say run we can just check this with VS code and look you can say now that Jane Smith has essentially been added to our database so there it is folks this right here these couple lines of code um, really actually have probably three lines of code it really takes to actually insert data into your database so if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below if this was helpful please smash the like button and if you aren't subscribed subscribe to the channel so we can continue to learn about python and other software development techniques and until next time keep on programming